Welcome to a new year at Chipola College. It's great together with people who have shared so much. This year we will continue our Chipola story of changing lives and creating futures. We own this story. It's deeply personal. We celebrate our successes and the real impact that we make together. We no longer take for granted just coming together. We have changed our behaviors for the health of others. We feel grateful for every student who chooses us and our campus. We are proud that our students continue to excel and graduate over the past five years, despite a Category 5 hurricane and a pandemic. We are thrilled Chipola was one of the few colleges in the Florida college system that maintained positive student enrollment in the summer and fall semesters of 2020. Every one of you worked hard to be sure that we continued to serve our students and teach our classes. Throughout the school year, we learned new ways to deliver instruction as social distancing, mask mandates, synchronous, asynchronous, and Zoom became parts of our everyday language. I want to thank every one of you for your hard work and persistence during these challenging times. But today, let's revisit the good times over the last five years and savor them. We had a very successful SACS on-site visit in 2017. In 2018, SACS reaffirmed the college's accreditation for 10 years. As a part of this process, we developed a quality enhancement plan, a QEP, which led to the Career and Life Planning course, SLS, 1401, which was piloted in 2018. We're continuing to improve the course, which is designed to help students find their career paths. Our great 2020 vision in selecting our QEP topic, students' career choices, has since become the state's focus for Florida colleges. Our SAC's fifth year interim report is due soon. We will begin the process of writing it this fall. Nationally, having six consecutive nominations for the Aspen Prize ranks Chipola in the top 150 U.S. community colleges in the country, eligible for $1 million. Data show that over the last two years, student retention, graduation rates, and degree completion have improved at the top tier of 150 Aspen Prize eligible colleges. Even then, Chipola scored high in several categories, including first-year retention rate, credentials awarded, and three-year graduation rates. Chipola received state honors, being named one of the top colleges in the Florida college system in 2017 and 2018 for earning a gold ranking in the state's performance funding model program. In 2018, we were the number one college in the state among gold colleges for best performance. We celebrated with a gold gala luncheon. In 2020, bestcolleges.com ranked Chipola. Number three on its list, best colleges also ranked Chipola number nine in top 10 colleges in Florida and best accredited colleges in Florida. This year, nationally, University Headquarters ranked Chipola number five on a list of most affordable business management colleges. They also ranked Chipola number eight on the list of most affordable colleges. We earned this national title because our board has not raised tuition in a decade. Our tuition is $102 per semester hour for freshman and sophomore classes and $115 for junior and senior classes. By comparison, FSU and UWF charge twice that amount per hour, and Troy's tuition is three times more an hour. Our students get a lot of financial help from the Chipola Foundation, which had a 12% increase in assets from June 2016 to June 2020. In the last five years, the Chipola Foundation expended $3 million for tuition and books for 4,300 scholarships. 
there have been 12 new scholarship endowments established and more than 50 funds in, funds out scholarships established during that period. In 2019, the foundation received $420,000 from the Maxwell Herald Trust to help students from Liberty County. The foundation also hosted a Hurricane Michael recovery event in 2019, handing out $1,000 scholarships to more than a dozen deserving students. Our facilities and grounds crew have been very busy. Following the hurricane, we repaired roofs and we painted the exterior of several buildings. In recent years, we remodeled the exterior of the Student Center and the basement of the Student Center, and we added a new patio. We remodeled the interior and exterior of the Social Science Building. We added new carpet and furniture in the Natural Science area. We're creating a new $1. million simulation center in the Health Sciences. We enlarged the Appreciation Club room in the Johnson Health Center. We've repaved nearly every parking lot on campus and added most buildings to the chiller system. We've added landscaping and more trees around the circle. At the Center for the Arts, we've added water features and fountains with oak trees lining the drive. In technology over the last five years, we've replaced an average of 100 computers per year. We've expanded campus wireless coverage probably twofold. We've acquired, implemented a number of tools and equipment to make our network faster, safer, and more reliable. We've added technology and services to facilitate effective distance learning. Matt White spearheaded a massive effort to redesign and implement a new Chipola website. We've implemented robust cloud services to facilitate efficient and timely disaster recovery and business continuity. We've also made a lot of improvements in e-learning in recent years. We've added dropout detective to identify at-risk students. In Canvas, we've added City Labs design to streamline online courses. We've added Ally and Tidy Up to improve accessibility of online courses. We added Studio for video and screen capture. We've added online test proctoring software. When the pandemic hit in spring 2020, all classes were converted to online in just a two week period. And we've also provided Zoom training for all instructors and staff. We've been awarded several important grants in recent years. In April, the Florida Department of Education and Hurricane Michael Recovery approved a proposal for a 1.7 million grant for our welding and building construction programs. In May, we received a 1.3 million Federal Student Support Services grant and 230,000 more from the state for Student Support Services. We received more than 1.2 million in CARES Act funds to help with the pandemic. We're at the end of an $800,000 five-year National Science Foundation grant working with Florida State University to improve the placement and tracking of informational technology students. The Florida Department of Economic Opportunity has approved a proposal for a $335,000 grant to assist with technology and enrollment in our cybersecurity program. We received $300,000 from the Florida Department of Education for COVID relief. We received $230,000 from the GEAR Fund Rapid Credentialing for Construction and Advanced Manufacturing Startup. We're expecting to receive a $180,000 grant from the Small Business Administration to provide business assistance to our residents and their startup businesses. We were also awarded $150,000 from the Perkins Grant for Career and Technical Education. Our academic programs are growing and we've added new programs and accreditations. 
bachelor's degree programs have increased to 10% of our total college enrollment. The School of Education has the highest enrollment since its inception in 2006, approximately 80. Graduates are employed in nearly every school in the five-county district, as well as in Alabama and Georgia. Job placement rates continue to remain over 90%. Passing scores on the Florida Teacher Certification exams also exceed the state average. Future Educators Clubs are active on many high school campuses. This year we held our first signing for incoming teacher ed students. In the School of Business, two programs in Business Administration, Information Technology and Engineering were added, and this year we added Cybersecurity. We're currently enrolling students in our revitalized networking program where students can earn certifications or a degree. We've also added new workforce programs. The first is building construction and trades. Scott Phelps and his students just won an award from Habitat for their work on the Mariana Chipola Street project with Auburn University. The second new workforce program added is advanced manufacturing, which can be a pathway to an AS degree in engineering technology. Connie Smith launched the new program Technical Theater in 2017. The AA in Technical Theater offers a student skills and professional experience before transferring to a university. Theater and Entertainment Technology is for students who prefer to take their skills into the workforce. In the Health Sciences Department, paramedics received national accreditation in 2018, and in June of 2021, EMT and paramedics passed recent state inspections. We also added an AS degree for paramedics. Student government and student ambassadors have kept our students busy with elections, homecoming, fall festival, spring frolics, and senior day. Since 2016, Phi Theta Kappa has added at least one new portrait each year to our Academic Hall of Fame in honor of receiving a national award. Phi Beta Lambda students won 13 plus state and nine plus national awards for service and scholarship. SSS and TRIO have established a great record of student academic success. Our Brain Bowl team finished as the state runner-up in 2021 and 2020. Chipola has been to the state championship 11 times, winning nine state titles. Since 2016, Chipola has won two state championships. We have finished as the state runner-up in the NAQT National Championship twice. We've also had two more players inducted into the FCSAA Hall of Fame brothers Dallin Keltson and Paul Keltson. Coach Stan Young was named the State Brain Bowl Coach of the Year for the third time in 2019. Over the last five years, Fine and Performing Arts has presented 20 artist series events. Since 2019, we've had 20 college theater productions. About 10,000 patrons visit the Center for the Arts each year. This year, a new theater curriculum was put in place by our new theater director, Raines Carr. In 2020, A Chipola Christmas was filmed and distributed on video. Chipola Live played to sell out crowds in April, marking the first live show on campus. And Shakespeare's Much Ado About Nothing was performed outdoors in June. Many of our employees are involved in work that brings attention to Chipola. In 2019, Dr. Rachel West and Connie Smith created Our Lives in Letters, A World War II Perspective. This collaboration between Chipola, Northern Illinois, and Florida State University brought to life photographs and letters from Americans involved in World War II our own Matt White served as state president of the Association of Florida Colleges in 2020 and launched AFC virtual meetings. 
Evelyn Ward was the winner of AFC's 2020 Leadership of Excellence Award. Three Chipola faculty were nominated for state teaching awards, Sherry Klanchak, Amanda Myers, and Bonnie Smith. In 2019, Kurt McGinnis established the Poetry Cafe as an annual event and published Grassroots. Robert Ivey wrote his first novel, The Day Angels Came to Dunning. Stephen Stewart and Jamie McAllister from law enforcement led active shooter workshops for staff in Chipola school districts and Chipola's campus had safety practice. Amy Myers, the editor of the Florida English Journal, received the Journal of Excellence Award for 2018-19. Dr. Spires in the Social and Behavioral Department hosted four annual mental health symposiums to raise awareness about mental health issues. August 2020, Deborah Purdue, Tech Stock and Children Coordinator, earned gold status and then Luminary Gold in 2021. In 2020, Student Services activated a behavioral task force to work with students referred by faculty for assistance. In 2019, Bonnie Smith, Director of ACE, sponsored a free Chipola ACT prep course as a recruitment activity and attendance was at capacity. ACE Online is very popular today with students. It's in great demand. Math course redesign was achieved by the math department. We welcomed the Florida College System's Chancellor Madeline Perega to campus in 2018, Chancellor Kathy Hepda to campus in 2019, and Workforce Chancellor Henry Mack in 2020 for presentations about our students, staff, and programs. Chipola won four marketing awards for the Chipola Monthly, the Stay Home, Stay Well, and Excel campaign, and the Chipola Tech Theater Working Through COVID video promotion. Chipola Athletics has been hugely successful. In the last five years, baseball has won two national championships with three appearances, three state championships, and three conference titles. We named the baseball field in Coach Jeff Johnson's honor in 2020. Women's basketball has one national championship with two appearances and one state championship with three appearances. Men's basketball has one national tournament appearance, one state championship with three appearances, and one conference championship. Softball has one national championship with five national tournament appearances, two state championships with five appearances, and five panhandle titles. Amy Woodham was named NJCAA National Athlete of the Year in 2018. Quite an honor. Kelly Brookins was named our new softball coach in July of 2021. Chipola Athletics continues to have an excellent record of sending Chipola players on to Division I universities and to professional sports. Our new graduates continue to be accepted in limited access programs, too many to name but four Chipola graduates were recently accepted into the Florida State University College of Medicine. Trip Taylor, Max Harrell, Anne-Marie Brown, and Jade Smelser, just a few of our successful graduates. Chipola alumni across the country continued to make us proud. Jesse Waymire was part of a team of engineers and experts which developed a low-cost ventilator to help COVID patients. I'm a proud Chipola alumnus, and in 2019, I was honored to win the State and National President's Paragon Award from Phi Theta Kappa. Michelle Denard, President and CEO of Career Source Florida, was named the 2019 Chipola Alumnus of the Year. And this year, Ricky Polston, Justice of the Florida Supreme Court, will be our alumnus of the year.
As we embark on our new year, let's remember our successes and work together to meet our new challenges, always remembering our mission, changing lives and creating futures.